Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. You know, consensus says chains are hard to beat for off-road traction. I've never needed them myself, but today is gonna to be a first for me. Install entire chains on the 1025R. And so, this is gonna be a learning curve for me, all right? I've watched some videos out there. I've seen some GP outdoors, and uh, Just A Few Acres Farm has a, a clever way to try to do it with some bigger tire chains. Now, these chains for the 1025 are, are no big deal, so we're not gonna uh, go that far with it, but I think I, I think I can do this. <laughs> so anyway, for you pros out there that have been doing this for years, if you have some helpful comments or tricks or tips or whatever, leave a comment down below for the other viewers that are watching. But this has been kind of a, a gap in my knowledge and in my product offering, and so I wanted to kind of get into it and figure it out. And you got to start somewhere, so you're gonna you're gonna experience it for the first time uh, with me right here. But tirechainsonline.com is who I am working with on this, all right? So they're part of the, the discount club. You can get 5% off of your order, tirechainsonline.com, use code GWT. And they've got chains for tractors, they've got chains for vehicles, chains for ATVs, lawn and garden stuff, all kinds of chains you can get over on their website, so check them out. Now something you wanna think about, and, and sometimes that can be overlooked, is the amount of space that you need kind of inside here and, and up around here. So you typically want two or three inches minimum of space there. And that can be accomplished in a couple of ways, uh, particularly in this gap here. Not a whole lot you can do here, but for the most part, you're gonna be okay. Um, one, you can get a set of wheel spacers. And so those are good to add stability to your, your tractor as well, but it's also gonna push the, the whole wheel and tire out so you have more space there to get that clearance that you need. Uh, a lot of tractor wheels as well, it may or may not give you enough space, but the wheels are actually gonna be reversible. And so the other thing you can do is a lot of wheels are gonna have, um, well, the center plate that's in here is actually offset. It's not completely right in the middle of the wheel, if, you know, left to right this way. It's actually offset or off-centered a little bit so you can have a narrow and a wide position. Uh, you get to larger tractors or some of the older tractors and the center hub is actually, or the center plate is actually bolted in and you can configure that in like eight different patterns and get really wide or really narrow, all sorts of things. So. Um, it should be, there should be information in your manual about how to do that. Uh, it's an option for a lot of machines. Hey, take five seconds, hit pause, hit subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. 75% of you watching are not subscribed yet, and I don't know why. And if you're in the market for a tractor attachment, we wanna help you out. Give us a shot, check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country, every day of the week. So there's a little bit of, oh boy, ambiguity maybe? I don't know if that's the right word or not, when it comes to chains on front tires and Trying to find clear cut answers online can be challenging. Um, probably manual, tractor manuals on a case by case basis may or may not have um, specific information about this. Had one customer actually email me not too long ago and say that he had three front hubs that went out on his machine. He ran front chains, he couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, eventually, his dealer questioned what he was doing and he was running front chains on there and that was causing the problem. So. On the other hand, you see bigger tractors, even bigger compacts that are running front chains successfully. A lot of pictures, a lot of forum threads and information. And I keep mentioning forums, but um, I feel like I should more in general, so I'm trying to make a point of it because they're such a valuable resource. So the tractor by neck, green tractor talk, orange tractor talk, all that kind of thing. Um, a lot of information on there about this. You know, but the front axle is obviously different than the rear. This is the axle that's turning. So with your tie rods and got this other brackets and, and everything else going on up here. So it's easy to catch and snag something that way as well. So I would encourage you talk to your tractor dealer if your manual doesn't point it out. And so we also got these uh, adjusters, these springs here. They're kind of like a tensioner. And we're gonna put these on after we get the chains installed. And you just kind of put them around the face. You'll just kind of latch them on to different points on the chains and kind of help keep it all in place and locked in together. So these are an optional thing. It seems like, I don't know, you guys tell me based on your usage or not, if these are worth getting. Um, I wanna get them. They seem like they make sense to me uh, to do a pretty important job there to, to keep them in place. But there is one thing that, uh, not many places have, and this tire chains online doesn't have them either, but chains are, are typically pretty rough on asphalt and on concrete. You'll get, you'll, there'll be comments in this video too on it's no big deal to run steel chains on your, your concrete and your asphalt driveway, as long as you don't spin, as long as you don't do this and that, the other thing, and that's kind of the point, right, is it's, it's a traction device, but you're, you're planning on probably slipping and sliding around a little bit. Um, they make a rubber tire chain that's out there from Terra Grips. Uh, Softclaw makes one as well. 
they're typically for the smaller tractors, like your 1025s, your garden tractors, and that kind of thing. So look for those. If we can find some links to them, we'll, we'll post those down below too. Be careful with steel chains on, on your driveways. I know that I don't feel like paying a big old bill to have things redone out here. A lot of you guys have new driveways. It's the same thing with snow pushers, snow plows, snow blowers. You want rubber or, or the plastic, the UHMW on your contact surfaces there for the same protective reasons. So that's where this thought process is coming from. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get to this. I'm gonna pick this up. You wanna have everything, I guess all these links, make sure that nothing's kinked up or whatever else. And you probably wanna check it again after you drape it over the tire. Uh, you're gonna have a hook, just a small little hook here to put on the inside. This long bar you keep on the outside where it's easier to access and you kinda of tension this and get it as tight as you can um, when, you're, when you're putting it on there. Now, these chains here were sized for 26, 12, 12, rear tires, so shouldn't have to trim any chain off, I don't think. After the fact, I guess we'll find out, but let's get started. All right. tuck the front underneath here, what it says to do. If you're confident, maybe you could do both at one time, but I'm gonna start with one here. I think uh, we got it going on. I kind of tuck the front of it underneath there. I'm gonna drive forward a bit until this comes out the backside. And then I guess we're gonna tighten her up. Hey, bub. Okay, so you can't get it like don't you can't pull it as tight as you want to because you have to be able to bend this whole thing backwards. And I think this is the the one there. And so that's the leftover. I can't get it to the next one. So they are on there, but to me, I don't know, this just feels sloppy. I'm gonna try to I don't know if I can or not. I don't know if there's really more chain to give, but a little bit. Maybe try to get another link or two out of there. And now they do say drive a little ways and then uh, likely you will readjust, kind of retighten and all that. To me, this just feels a little, I'm gonna try to get another link or two out of it. And uh, just because, well, I showed you 
talked about those Spartan trail cameras before. Today, on both properties, I have had coyotes in the middle of the day. And we got a pretty cool picture of, uh, well, cool, but also I don't like it. Picture of two coyotes, and it looks like they're chasing a deer, which is further out in the, in the frame. I'll show you that too. So that one was the second link from here. Let's see if we can get the first link after we make these adjustments. There we go. Hey, I got one more. There's nowhere for it to link to right there. See, it wants to go link around the outside, not through one. I guess it's through there. Is it sticking out? Oh yeah, okay. It's not through one of these though, it's through. But I wonder if I put the, the tensioner on here, right on this thing, pull and pull it that way. Probably need to spread these out a little bit better. Oh. These are the reusable zip ties. All right, so did a little test drive on that. I wanted to see if they would kind of shimmy or shake or whatever they would do. The spacing, I definitely didn't do a very good job. It's not evenly spaced right now. That's harder than you would think though to, to evenly space these chains around. The bottom doesn't move because it's pinned underneath there. And every time it wants to catch on a cleat and, and it's, it's steel chain, right? There's just not a lot of play in it. Um, however, just driving around there just a little bit, nothing was feeling loose or sloppy. Everything feels taut. I think that's the most important part. You guys tell me, I'll probably still try to play with this a little bit too, um, evening it out, but to what degree that really matters, I don't know, other than aesthetically looking at it and wanting it to be perfect. All right, so this side here has to go on the inside. See how these treads on here kind of slope back, they're not straight parallel across on there. So I think that's a little bit of the challenge in trying to get these to fit on this tread pattern in particular. Now, I will say these VersaTurf tires I have really enjoyed, but we are gonna be in pure mud and on gravel too. And so I really wanna set myself up for success. And I wanna try tire chains. I just wanna give it a shot. I don't see any twists in any links. You see any twists? I think it feels good. Okay. I feel like I got one more link on the last one. I just don't think I can get it out of this one. Though. Well, maybe. Maybe that one is it. It was like that. <clears throat> well, that seemed to go a little bit smoother the second time around.
That last one's always the hardest one, huh? There we go. Well, folks, pretty much anything is a good workout for me these days. <laughs> so uh, this actually was pretty easy to do, uh, assuming I did it the right way. Uh, you guys tell me. Be nice, be kind, please, okay? But uh, we're gonna give it a shot. I'll take it out here and, and give it a little spin and see how things shake out, but I don't know. I think I did okay. So anyway, 5% uh, off, code GWT, tirechainsonline.com. Chains for all your needs, as long as you need steel. For everything else, tractor attachment wise, we're happy to help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country, every day of the week. If you enjoyed today's video, you wanna see more, you like tractor stuff, then hit that subscribe button right down below, completely free to you. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.